Now, during the frantic moments after the shootings, the top priority for police was to find the suspect before more innocent blood was shed. Our complete coverage continues with Abajoy Burnett live with how that shooter was caught. Abajoy? Denise, after four people were shot, police say that suspects sat down to eat lunch, but undercover agents were watching and waiting for the right moment to move in. The suspect, Eulalio Tordale, had lunch and then, according to police, walked around different stores in Aspen Hill. All the time he was being watched, this is the exact moment undercover agents moved in on Tordale as he went back to his car. The hunt for the man wanted in several shootings ended right here. Boxed him in over in that area, drawled guns on him, told him to get out of the car. He came out of the car in a few minutes, five minutes with hands up. French Georgia's and Montgomery County police have been working together since Thursday to catch Tordale. Knowing that the suspect was armed, knowing that the suspect had made uh, statements um, about what he intended to do, uh, we needed to make sure that the public was safe when we took him into custody. The suspect was brought back here to Montgomery County Police Headquarters. He's being held with no bond. WJZ has a copy of a protective order Tordale's estranged wife took out against him. In 2010, she said he slapped her so hard the impact broke the glasses on her face. And then just weeks ago, an allegation that he threatened to harm her if she ever left him. Tordale, a federal protective service officer, is accused of shooting and killing his estranged wife in a school parking lot on Thursday. For people caught up in the chaos, they're thankful it's all over. This is crazy. What is going on with this world. Police say a weapon was found inside his rental vehicle. Once again, he's being held in Montgomery County with no bond. Reporting live, Avajoy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you very much, Avajoy. Now, here's what you need to know about this shooting spree. The alleged gunman is in custody after two days of violence, shootings at a high school, a mall, and a grocery store. In all, three people are dead, three others are wounded. Now, that suspect has officially been charged with first degree murder in the death of his estranged wife, which happened at High Point High School. It is not known if there is any connection between today's victims and the suspect. And we invite you to stay with WJZ for the latest on the arrest of this suspect in a deadly shooting spree. We will continue to bring you the latest on the investigation.